Hi there, my name is Aaron Piedra, and today I'm going to be giving you some tips on how to practice violin etude number two for the Texas Allstate Mariachi 2020. <clears throat> Alright, so from the beginning, you're all tuned up, warmed up, ready to use your whole bow, okay? I'm going to start the beginning in third position, um, just because it feels more comfortable. So I find, I find my first note, A, first finger, start right at the frog, and try to start on the string, okay? Sometimes when you start from the air, the attack is pretty good, but if you're nervous and you're like shaking, sometimes you get that scratchiness that you don't want. So take a breath, have your bow already on the string, fingers going, vibrato going, Okay, so your forte, try to use as much bow as you can, and then on the up bow accent, you want to push down with your index finger so that you get that nice pressure. Okay, practice pushing down with the, with the index finger so that it's strong both down bow and up bow. Okay, so like I said, I start this in third position. Let's go through the first line. One, two, three. All right. <clears throat> so that's my preferred fingering. On measure three, stretch for that G sharp, okay? Make sure your fourth finger is nice and high. Open E to shift down. Try to vibrato on that last note. Okay, so it still rings, it's not just cut short. Okay, and then the alternate fingering <clears throat> I wrote, you can still start in third position. And then right here, you shift from A down to G sharp, okay? It's a half step shift, so it shouldn't be that hard. And then the rest of the measure, you stay in that second position. So it would be. All right, and then the next part, you don't even have to shift that much. So if you're, if you don't really like shifting that much, second position is your best friend. G sharp. Hey, if you're not familiar with second position, try playing a, a scale in second position. So if we're in A major right here. Start here, A. Just so that you get used to where the sharps are, the finger pattern in second position. Okay. Um, so let's let's start from the beginning and then let's keep going. One, two, three. is pretty much straightforward on the bowings. If the bowings get you kind of mixed up or they seem a little tricky, isolate that section and just, you know, really iron it out. So let's see, we're on a down bow. So at measure 10, you're on a down bow. Say you really want to look at the bowing. Take it piece by piece, section by section. Um, slowly. And then speed it up. We're in first 
position, so you have no excuse not to use a good amount of bow. Don't get stuck in the tip, because that's going to weaken your sound, okay? Put like a little clothespin. Um, measure 14, I like to use the fourth finger, so that you can really show your personality. Some power, some quality, some singing. Okay, on that A, you don't want to just open A is kind of boring. This is supposed to be the lyrical study. So lyrical is a beautiful melody. Okay, not just it's not about power and just nah, raw force. Okay, put some vibrato, add some beauty. Alright, so after that we got the fourth finger trill. On this one I do recommend using fourth finger because the next part will, will feel better in first position. So for the fourth finger vibrato, make sure your left hand is nice and relaxed. Okay, sometimes when you do vibrato, and I still do this, you like flex your whole forearm and your fingers and you're like, oh, I'm trying to go real fast. Um, feel like your arm is just weightless, there's no tension. Okay, it's so nice and relaxed. Your third finger is down, and then your pinky. As fast as you can get it, okay? Uh, whenever you're warming up, when you first take out your violin, practice warming up that pinky. So what I do sometimes is I'll set a timer to count down from a minute, and I'll push start, and then I'll just trill for a minute, okay? And during that time, you need to really, really relax. If you need to take off your thumb from here, take it off because you should not be pressing, you should not be squeezing. Okay, relax. And if you go slow, that's fine. But you need to practice the movement of the trill, okay? So that minute is up, next finger. Second finger to third finger. If you can go, if you can go fast, try to go as fast as you can without having tension. So don't squeeze the thumb, don't do anything weird, okay, with all of this. And then, okay, so that minute is up. And the next minute. You're chilling for a whole minute. It gets tired and it gets rolling. But in the end, it's worth it, okay? And you just shake it off, let all the blood flow through your fingers, squeeze it out, relax, okay? Let's continue. <clears throat> 13, 14, 15, measure 15. One, two, three. Should be fairly simple, only F sharp and C sharp. Uh, right here. After the half note, connect it to the next eighth notes. One, two. Okay, don't stop the bow after the half note. For example, what I don't want you to do is. Play the half note and then the line, the melody completely stops and then you continue with the eighth notes. Try not to do that. Try to connect all of your bows. So pick up to 22, you have... Change. We're now we're in F. 
so nice low first finger, nice low second finger. Okay, next section, this is measure 32, measure 33. So the, the line on top of the note is tenuto. And then oh, on the last note, you have a dot. So practice that boy. Nice and slow. Practice that measure nice and slow and then speed it up little by little. is giving you trouble, slow it down. So on 34, I would do a 3, 2, 4, and then open string so that you're ready for the next note. Moving on, measure 37. Dotted 16th notes with a tenuto, so lots of vibrato. Alright, and then the next part, 38. Here's the, the fingering that I prefer. Alright, practice shifting on measure 39 from F natural to C. And what this does, this makes C natural your anchor note. From there, you have, uh, you're in fifth position. Okay, so your hand is, your finger pattern is already set. Your hand's already in the position, okay? And your first finger is your anchor note. So, practice. Just shift to the note. You can get it in tune, but then the rest of the notes you kind of have to hope that they're gonna land in tune. So nice and slow, it's third finger. Shift. And then the alternate fingering I wrote, you still start with third finger. And then from here, you shift to fourth position. So your first finger is on E. And then second finger on F natural. So it'll be. Okay, so you would do shift. Okay, so you would do shift. And then fourth finger. Okay, and then when you cross the string, you just have to stretch a little bit. So your fourth finger from the A to the F. Okay, so nice and slow it would be shift, four, stretch. Okay, so that's an alternate fingering if you're not comfortable with a big shift all the way from first position to fifth position. So my preferred fingering okay, an alternate fingering Alright, next part going to measure 40 low F natural It says create your own bowing. I like to do it separate. But you could also do a ricochet bowing. Okay, so you found you 
find the middle part of your bow, the bouncy part. Most bows are around the middle, but every bow is different, so find that bouncy part. Okay, so for the rico ricochet, I would recommend still starting down bow, so do two downs. to really experiment and whatever is comfortable bowing wise on the string off the string ricochet or just kind of as it comes so it's up to you Pretty cool is measure 40 to start down bow and since you're still forte to use the ricochet bowing and then when you get here to measure 44 use natural bows as it comes and lower your volume If you still want to do it ricochet, just make sure you really bring it down to piano. Okay, next part, measure 48. Just look at the bottom line. That's what you really want to hear. So not too much open A. Try to balance it to where you hear just a little more D. Okay, and you're crescendoing, so start soft. Crescendo, and let's play through that whole line, okay? Ready? One, two, three. All right, so nice and short lift on measure 51. And the fermata, rubato, you can hold it however long you feel is appropriate, okay? That's all up to you. Next part, 52. Same thing with those fermatas. Hold it as long as you want. Not too long, but however you feel it should be. If you want to do it short, or a little bit longer, okay, that's up to you. However long you think it should be. All right, so let's start there, 52. The short notes make them short. Long, short, long, short. Same thing, hold that for mana as long as you want. Really dig into that last section. Um, so the last two measures. Make sure you get that F natural nice and low. Listen for the intonation. Okay, so last two measures. Accent and let it ring. And that's it guys. Plain wise, those are all of the tips that I have. So really take the time to make a plan. Practice section by section. And then slowly piece it all together. Me personally, I would take, I would start with measure 38, start super slow, be solid about what fingering you're going to use, set the metronome at a very slow tempo, da -da -da, da -da -da, and take a good half an hour to speed it up little by little and get comfortable with the shifts. So don't try to take on too much at one time. 
really, really isolate which parts give you trouble. It's hard, but I want you to practice the difficult parts first, really get those solid, and then go through the easy stuff, okay? So practice technique, practice tempo, fingerings, and then you also have to practice playing through the piece, okay? That's very important. When you get closer to your audition date, practice a couple of times at the end of the day, okay, I'm gonna practice playing through the whole piece. Because what happens is sometimes we start playing and then ah, we mess up and we want to go back and fix it. And what that actually does is it makes it a habit for you to stop. So I want you to practice playing through the whole piece. Tell yourself, even if I make a mistake, I'm going to keep going. Okay? Because when it comes time for the audition or time for the actual performance, you can't stop, go back and fix any notes. You have to just continue all the way through. Alright? Best of luck on your audition. See ya.